What is going on everyone? Kellen Wesley here. I hope you're all having an amazing day. The sun is out. We are just going, doing some exploring in our local neighborhood here in Algiers, Algeria. I'm going to take you along with, showcase it and show you how safe it really is for foreigners to be living here in Algeria. So I hope you like the video. Give it a like, give it a share and join the family if you're not already a part of the family. And let's just keep on show, sharing Algeria to the world. This whole area is really, really lovely. There's so many different shops as you can see behind me and as we are coming past here. So there's lots of different vegetable shops, there's farmer shops, there's pizza shops, there's pharmacies, there's absolutely everything you can find. It's all really secure. The whole square that we're walking through there, there are so many people just out and about enjoying their day, soaking up the good weather, soaking up the sun. There's also a really cool little restaurant on the side there in a pine store. We actually were looking for some appliances so we might be able to come in here another photo store. So basically we know there's a cat shop and a pet shop at the end of the road so there's something specific that we're coming to look for but at the same time it's a great opportunity to just walk around yeah, up and down and explore the area but as I said when the weather's this good everyone's outside. It's still a little bit chilly that's why I've got like this overcoat on but everyone's in a good mood everyone's smiling and it's just so lovely to know that not even too far from your doorstep you have all these different options that you can come and try out a lot of local foods especially when you see a lot of local people even though there's like no tourists in this area the fact there's a lot of locals sitting there you know the food has to be good and it just goes on forever and ever and ever it's like a full little strip that there's like shops and restaurants and that so it's really cool so we're just going to go and explore it and see what we can get our hands on We also stumbled across a butchery that is really clean. It looks amazing. The guy's super friendly. So we're getting some chicken, we're getting some beef, getting them and stuff. He even offered to cut it up into like dices for us, which is easier so then we don't have to do it when we get back home. But you can see spotless, really good service, really great prices. So there's literally everything you need in this whole area. You don't need to go far. And as I said, lots of people around, lots of people coming. They obviously stay in this area. So we're gonna jump back inside, get a couple more things and then check out some more shops. And then just around the other corner, there's also these shops here, which are really lovely. Little bakery, you can also get some meats done there. And then little convenience stores, everything. We tried to find the fruit store, but it was so busy. We just decided better like next time. The whole square, also the butchery, they cut everything fresh from you, especially the chicken mince. I mean, the chicken beef, the beef mince, I should say. And then around this corner here is honestly where my favorite kebab shop is. You can see traditional hydra all of these different places, everyone's sitting out and enjoying the sun. When you see there's lots of locals around, you know this is a good spot. You can see everyone enjoying some food on that side and then we always say support local, come and get fresh fruit and veg instead of from supermarket chains. So that is where we're coming, it looks absolutely wonderful grabbing some super fresh bananas, super fresh grapes. It looks wonderful. So we're gonna dig in, grab some more of these. And then also the gym that I'm gonna start going to is literally just down the street here. So really perfect location. So we ended up coming just thinking we we're gonna grab one or two things. We end up stopping at the butchery, getting a whole lot of nice things. We end up stopping at the fruit shop. And now we're just weaving our way through some of these side streets to head back to our house. But honestly, we feel really safe here, really secure and the people are just so unbelievably friendly so that's why we always say come and explore things for yourself don't always take it for what you see on social media and news networks and everything like that so we've got all of our stuff we're now going to drop this off at the house because as you can see i'm out of breath it's pretty heavy and then once we drop this off throw it in an air-conditioned place we can continue exploring the other side and go to a restaurant and just see some more of the hydra area I would say we are not having the best luck when we're busy trying to find a place for lunch. Everything has been closed because they are revamping or restoring. But we came past, saw some amazing chocolate bar. 
look how cool that is in the background there so that's definitely on the bucket list to come and check and then everyone was recommending me to come and try this moon's restaurant unfortunately we came past it's closed they said they're only going to be reopening in december so i think they're doing a whole revamp but then there's like a whole lot of different coffee shops and spots up there they were also closed i think it's partially due to it being a weekend and the past couple of videos you've seen on the weekend we really battled to find places that are open also our favorite burger spot and pizza shop were closed but there's also like little shops but super clean really really maintained and but the chocolate shop really blew me away while just walking around and discovering the little city center neighborhood we found another absolutely beautiful shop everything handmade by the name beautiful Range Rover SVR a hair studio another restaurant and a laundromat so everything in this little area here some beautiful houses the palm trees the weather it's just such a lovely day We ended up finding a beautiful little bakery with honestly the most amazing things. So we're giving these a try at the bottom, but look how no, take away, take away. amazing they all look. Also some croissants here. Looks wonderful. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That looks super good. And it's literally just off one of the streets. So it's very deceiving. You wouldn't think much. And then you come in and it looks incredible. And the place we came to lunch was Pepper, absolutely poured through, the only place open. They have like some cakes down there, juices, sandwiches, poke bowls, everything made fresh in the back there. Looks amazing, absolutely a vibe. Got some coffee on the side and then you have a beautiful view out over to the road, so it's super happy we found some place and time to eat. I uh, always try and find at least one thing every single day that is hard to do to just make sure that I'm always just pushing myself to the absolute limit, no matter what it is. So even though I really don't feel like it, you probably hear from the echo, I'm at the very bottom level in our basements and I'm going to just end up running up and down here, do some high intensity cardio, some sprints. So that is how we're going to end the video. I had such a lovely day. I just wanted to showcase how everyone always wants to portray a country in a specific way. Everyone is like, do not come. It's going to be unsafe. The area is unsafe. Look at the news and then you come here and it's a completely different narrative to what has been painted. So that is all what this channel is about, is just trying to prove that go and explore things obviously do your due diligence but don't always listen to what is always pushed and everyone is now asking me since i've been living here is it safe from my experience we've had absolutely no problems we've loved every single minute of being in this beautiful country and cannot wait for the years to come and just keep on exploring it and meeting amazing people the amount of messages i've got on instagram on youtube on tiktok it's just been amazing thank you all so much for the support and we'll see you all in the next video